Brad's Sponsored by Dash Lane. What is Brad's wife? February 27th. Oh boy, here we go. 2017. A woman comes home to deliver her husband some bad news. She has been fired from her job at Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. They gave no notice. They gave no reason. The husband, Brad, embraces her. A tear rolls down her cheek. Brad's hands tighten into fists. <laughs> He whispers under his breath. <laughs> Nanette, fetch me the computer. To say I'm pissed off would be an understatement. After 11 years of service, those lowlifes a Cracker Barrel let my wife go? I would really like to know why. And those of you who know me these days know that I will find out. <laughs> In the meantime, if any of you would also like to know, please go to their Facebook page and ask them. This old boy is storming. And him. like one of my best friends. That'll do it. With that, he put his arm around an ear, and they fell asleep together on the couch. Oh boy. I don't know. A week passes. I don't know where this is going. It's Brad's birthday. Hey, Nanette. Has there been any word back yet on why you're fired? This old boy is still storming. She shook her head. Outrageous. Nanette, fetch me the computer again. <laughs> I'm going to make another Facebook post. Today is my birthday. Why did you fire my wife? Now we wait. Don't forget your cake. Brad squinted his eyes, made a wish, and blew. He put his arm around Annette, and again, they fell asleep together on the couch. <laughs> no, I don't know where this is going. But that I night, love it. as they dreamed, something special happened. A miracle of sorts. People started joining in. People saw the post, then semi-sarcastically also began demanding answers. <laughs> then more joined in. Then more. You monsters fired Brad's wife. Justice for Brad's wife. Oh my god. 11 years. The power of the internet, Release dude. Brad's wife. Jesus Christ. The template of the joke the is simple and spreadable. Promoting desserts, are we? Brad's wife used to love desserts. <laughs> New item on the menu. Brad's wife would have made it twice as good. <laughs> Today we remember 9-11. Brad's wife used to love 9 -11. It spread from their Facebook to their Twitter to their Instagram, to all of their social media platforms. But this wasn't your usual raid by 4chan. This was something different. An army of mostly boomers putting cracker over the barrel. It was the mums and dads of middle America leading the charge. And Brad was there as the standard bearer. He embraced the meme. Why did you fire my wife? He repeated. Please share, he demanded. Soon there was nothing that Cracker Barrel could post that wouldn't immediately be turned into a discussion about the plight of poor Nanette. As always, a petition is started and goes nowhere. And once that <laughs> failed, the calls started rolling oh, in. No. Hi, I have a quick question for you guys. Yes. Why did you guys fire Brad's wife? So, uh, I guess what I'm asking is if you would just go ahead and hire her back. Uh, and then we can just pretend like this whole thing didn't happen. And what's a good harassment campaign without a soundtrack? You just fired her on Brad's birthday. There's a justice for Brad's wife. If you wanna have no, your God, friend, please, no, no. But this was just the beginning. Other companies saw this meme and decided to add fuel to the fire. Oh no! On social media, they were posting about Brad's wife. Oh. In IRL, they were putting up signs oh promoting God. Brad's wife. And that prompted the news to get involved. More teens are having fuck, having. Coverage from People <laughs> magazine, The Mirror, Washington Post, Fortune, and many, many, many more. That's when things really started to spread out into the streets. People made posters, signs, and t-shirts. And they even started visiting the restaurant just to ask about Brad's wife. Oh my god. Who's Brad? Well, Brad's not important, but his wife, they fired her after 11 years of service. I don't know what you're talking about. After 11 years. <laughs> Is 
that? On his birthday. Is that, I heard about that. That yep. was terrible. Yeah, and now there's a wait time in here. How long? Oh, it's a long time. Because Brad's wife isn't here. <laughs> Brad could see that things were spiraling out of control. He called on the troops not to harass the local chain. The firing was a corporate decision. <laughs> Good morning. I still have not heard from said company, but I would like everyone to remember that some very good people work for them. So if you want answers, please direct questions to the home office. They're the ones who fired oh. my wife. Oh my God. But it did little to temper things down. You fired Brad's wife? You shall be on fire. What the hell? So in all this time, Brad still hadn't heard back from the company, and we feared that we'd never get answers. But one smooth talker succeeded in getting a few details by pretending to be a manager from the corporate office. Mush, mush. <laughs> I got this email from my boss today stating something about um, Brad's wife. Do you know her personally? Yes, sir. She was my boss. And that's when she spilled the beans. I think it was, she had, she was kind of a softie, sir. Now, from here, we could have just called it a day. But here's the thing about boomer humor. They don't know how to let a joke go. Once something is funny, it remains funny to them for years. <laughs> and that doesn't spell good news for Cracker Barrel social media. Oh, no. So, that's what the future holds for Cracker Barrel. Years more of hashtag Brad's wife. Oh, no. But what about for poor Nanette? Well, there's good news. It turns out that a lot of those offers by other businesses to hire Brad's wife weren't entirely sarcastic. 11 years of service? Come on in for an interview. Dozens and dozens of real offers started rolling in. Oh my God. Suddenly, Brad's wife had her pick and she could work pretty much anywhere she wanted. And that, roughly speaking, is where the story ends. You can still visit Cracker Barrel today and the top comment will still be, some dumb shit about firing Brad's wife. But that doesn't matter. Because better than an answer, Brad got his wife a new job. And this old boy could finally rest. The storm had passed. Oh. Ad time. You go to log into your internet banking. Invalid password. I'm gonna go to Twitter real quick. Hold on.